Cracking the code. Relative pronouns in English. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our series on English grammar fundamentals. Today, we're going to dive into the world of relative pronouns, essential tools to build compound and complex sentences. Relative pronouns are the words that help to combine sentences or clauses, and they refer back to a noun or pronoun mentioned before. Before we begin, let's quickly recall what relative pronouns are. The most commonly used relative pronouns are who, whom, whose, which, and that. Remember, we use who and whom for people, whose for possession, which for things, and that for people and things. Now let's see how to use these relative pronouns in sentences. The man who lives next door is a doctor. The book that I borrowed from you was fascinating. The girl whose cat is missing is very upset. Notice how the relative pronouns connect different parts of these sentences, providing more information and enhancing the overall meaning. To really grasp the usage of relative pronouns, Let's do some practice exercises together. Exercise 1. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate relative pronoun. The woman, blank, sold me the dress was very polite. This is the boy, blank, bike was stolen. I enjoyed the movie, blank, we watched last night. Exercise 2. Combine the following sentences using relative pronouns. I met a girl. Her brother is a famous actor. Do you see the dog? It is chasing its tail. Remember to pause the video and try these exercises yourself before we move on to the answers. Let's review the answers now. Exercise 1. The woman who sold me the dress was very polite. This is the boy whose bike was stolen. I enjoyed the movie that we watched last night. Exercise 2. I met a girl whose brother is a famous actor. Do you see the dog that is chasing its tail? Great job! Practice makes perfect, so feel free to pause and replay this section as many times as you need. Well, that's it for today's lesson on relative pronouns. I hope you found this video helpful and are feeling more confident in using relative pronouns to construct compound and complex sentences. Remember, practice is key in language learning. So, keep practicing and stay tuned for more grammar lessons. Happy learning!